as revenge for 2016, perhaps. Disclaimer before we go any further, I'm just speculating. I am not some kind of political professional. These are just thoughts that went through my head as to how you could steal the election. So don't burn me too hard in the comments, bro. It's just fiction, but it could be fact. And that's what makes it interesting. A firm owned by Michael Bloomberg has warned of something called a red mirage. What's a red mirage? Well, it's where Donald Trump wins the presidential election with a bunch of districts reporting, but then Donald Trump Trump loses by a large margin because of mail-in and absentee ballots being counted at the last minute. Now this sounds a little silly to me. I mean, frankly, it sounds more like something someone's planning to pull off, rather than something that some firm somewhere said, oh, well maybe this is gonna happen. So it got me thinking, how could you engineer a red mirage? How could you have your enemy win, then take the victory from them and make them look bad as revenge for 2016? perhaps. I put some thought into it, and here is the stuff that I've come up with. What do you need to steal the election, particularly with mail-in ballots being available? You need to know who has voted, and you need to know who is registered to vote. So here's how it works. Let's say you know who has voted. 99% of districts have reported. You know who's voted and who hasn't because you have access to this database of the people who have voted. If you know who has voted, and you also have access to the database of registered voters, then all you have to do is on the fly fabricate mail-in ballots by all the people that were registered to vote that haven't reported a vote yet. If you do this, it's very easy to sway an election your way, but it requires mail-in voting be active in the area in question. Otherwise, those votes would be called into question. This becomes easier if you don't have to do signature verification. The Democrats have pushed for signature verification on ballots to be thrown away. This is easier if you have mail-in ballots rather than absentee ballots, because absentee ballots require that the voter request the ballot, and mail-in ballots you simply shovel ballots into the door, and that's it. No, really, this is it. This is not complicated. To cause a red mirage, you let Donald Trump win, which it looks like he's going to do. Then you manufacture mail-in ballots based on the voter registration database minus the people who've already voted. Now, of course, you need access to some important things to do this. You can't do it without connections. But do you have any doubts that people with tons of money and tons of political connections can't get their greedy hands on the voter? database. Yeah, I, I thought so. That, unfortunately, is it. There is nothing else to the Red Mirage. Who knows if it'll really happen? If it does, it'll be very interesting, but I want you to think about just how easy this would be to pull off if you have access to two sets of data and a way to fabricate mail-in ballots quickly. This, coincidentally, could also be why there's a big push to allow ballots to come in after the due date, after election day, because if you're allowed to shovel in ballots it's a week later that could then turn the election despite it being past election day? Well, my friends, plenty of time to get those laser jets fired up, plenty of time to forge those signatures, auto stuff those envelopes, and mail your way to victory. This has been a fiction that I hope doesn't become fact. Thanks for listening. Hope you were entertained. Have a wonderful day. And um, always remember, by the way, the secret ballot exists for a reason. You may have to cover your butt with your friends so that you don't get ousted from your friend group, but when it comes voting day, vote for what you know is right. Don't vote what your friend group thinks is right. By the way, one more reminder, in a lot of jurisdictions, it is illegal for you to photograph your ballot because that can lead to vote buying and it destroys the secret ballot. The secret ballot is your friend. Protect it as best as you can. Take care. All right, guys, come on. We got to cheer them on now. They're dueling it. They're dueling it.